If this doesn't make you want 600 of these little cuties, then I don't know what to tell you. You got horse ranch. Now what? Of course, you could dive into the world of horses or nectar making. Or you could focus on these little babies. Mini goats and mini sheep. Now where do we begin? There are several ways you can purchase the goats and sheep. One way would be through your phone. So open that bad boy up and tap on the home icon. Then choose call ranch animal exchange. Then you should see an option to buy mini goats and mini sheep. An easier method would be to click on an animal feeder, select call ranch animal exchange, and then wham bam, thank you ma'am. You can adopt these mini cutie pies. If you're near a ranch community board, then you can just click on that. Side note, you can actually purchase one of these and put it on your lot, which is handy. Once again, select Call Ranch Animal Exchange and adopt your little babies. Our final method would be to check out this building within this neighborhood, within this world, within this game, on your computer or your console. I took that a little extreme. You get the picture. When you click on the building, you will see the option to buy mini goats and mini sheep. So click on that because that's what you want. Apparently. And if it's not what you want, why are you watching this video? You should, you should want, want this. this. Once you purchase your ranch animals, they should be in your active sims inventory. You can place them in the world by clicking on them and selecting the place in world option. Be careful where you place them. They tend to stick around to that area. When I first got mine, I put it down inside the house and it was just chaos. Very chaotic. I was kind of hoping that they would leave automatically, but they did not. I also didn't realize my sim was putting them down right where she was standing. I thought she would go outside to do it. And yeah, no, she didn't. She did it right in the house. So be careful, okay? Unless you want that, which why not? Chaos is great sometimes. You got your mini goats and sheep, now what? Well now you gotta take care of them. They're fairly easy to take care of, unless you get a lot of them. Pretty much you have to feed them, give them attention, and clean them up every so often. All of this will affect their happiness. Happiness is like their general overall mood. If their needs are met, they'll be very happy. To feed your goats and sheep, you can click on them and choose to bottle feed them. This is located under the care category. In addition, you can use an animal feeder to call your goats and sheep to eat. I feel like I shouldn't have to explain the attention thing because it's fairly straightforward, but you interact with them through playing, petting, or socialization, and that will help with their attention need. Make sure your ranch animals aren't little stinkers by clicking on them, selecting care, and then choose clean. Your sim will clean that goat or sheep so good that even Drew Gooden wouldn't dare to call them a little stinker. Let's talk about how you can make simoleons with your mini goat and sheep. Every so often, your goats will be able to be milked and your sheep will be able to be sheared for simoleons. When you milk a goat, you'll get two bottles of milk. This can be pretty helpful for those game players where you're doing the simple living challenge. With your sheep's wool, you can actually use it in crafting projects which then can be sold for simoleons if you're so inclined. I do want to point out that if you don't have cottage living, then the goat milk and lamb wool can only be sold for simoleons. There's no other options for you. Another benefit to these little cuties would be the fact that they will do some of your chores for you. Once you're friendly enough with your goats, you'll notice that they'll provide assistance in gardening by eating all of those annoying bugs. Isn't that great? Sheep will also help out once you're friendly with them. Your sheep will assist by eating all of those unwanted weeds. You know that saying, any help helps is good help. I don't know what the saying is actually, but I think you get the point. Well, I hope that was helpful and I hope that you're enjoying those mini goats and sheep. I sure have been. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to water your plants, pet your pets, and drink some water. Until next time, bye.